Hello, hello. If you're watching, you're watching the replay. Say hello and tell me where you're from. Are y'all getting ready for Christmas? Or are you like, uh, no, it's too early. Y'all, I got it right the first time. Well, the second time. It's a miracle. <laughs> So I'm working on gift bags and this one obviously says joy. It's like a little gift bag. It's pretty small. This is a, this isn't even a big one. So compared to that one, it's small and it's perfect to have on hand when you are um, going to give a Christmas gift. But what I love is I keep these all year round. Just to, uh, just to, I like buying the plain ones, okay? So if you buy the plain ones, keep it all year round, and you can use these for different occasions, or just put, use it plain, but put some cute tissue paper in there. And then, I'm trying to, hello, Kim. Of course, left-handers can do this. Yes, I have left-handed people in my class all the time, and you just have to adjust yourself. It's just like, you know, writing, your handwriting, um, same kind of thing. You just have to adjust. So the, you know, the biggest thing is worrying about smearing when you're writing. Um, so you want to get fast drying pens or just make sure you lift your hand up. So I am working on some gift bags. Here's one that I was working on and then my cell phone fell and I have a little mess up. So I got to figure out how to fix it, but we will fix it. We will figure out a way. But um, yeah, Kim, you can do it. You can do this. It's so fun. Sure thing. Okay, so I love this cra these craft bags and um, because they go with everything, but I especially love lettering on them. I love um, the way white looks on it. So I'm thinking about, what do y'all think? This little spot right here. Can you even see it? That right there. You know, some things are better left undone, but I can fix. I can fix this. I can make it cute. What can I do? While I'm thinking, I'm gonna do some. I'm just gonna kind of play around. Y'all tell me if I misspelled something now. I need to know. I've got to know who has their tree up. I don't. So if you if you're on Instagram, make sure you watch stories. Hey Debbie, because they're so fun. I'm having a blast making stories. And at first I didn't get it, didn't understand why people did it, and now I totally get it. I love it. Come on, Debbie. Come on, Debbie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do like a little. Holly right here and see if I can work it in. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Now I know what I'm going to do. So always when you make a mistake, turn it into next week. Oh, your tree. I thought you meant <laughs> doing a story on Facebook. Yes, you're going to put your tree up. Well, okay, so my dilemma is I got this new couch. I, this is my first year to have it, and I, it's got this, uh, it's behind the couch. I had it custom built. You have to wait till after Thanksgiving. I understand I used to feel that way, but I'm thinking, you know what? I might just have to embrace it and start doing it before. That way there's less stress and all that stuff, but treat after Thanksgiving. I, I posted something on here, y'all, and I was shocked at the amount of people who have already put theirs up, and I was happy for them. I thought that was awesome. Okay, I don't want that. Anyway, um, on my Instagram story, I was talking about getting a new tree to go behind my couch, and I just need like a four foot or something even smaller, and I'm having a hard time pick, picking something out. And I'm getting to the point where my kids are, I'm empty, almost empty nest, and they don't care as much. And so I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I'll just get like a fiber optic tree. You know, they're, you just put them up. You don't have to add lights to them. Sounds good to me. And then 
I also think it'd be cool to have a bright red tree. And I posted that on my stories and my daughter sent me a private message and said, we're not getting a red tree. <laughs> I said, but it's so pretty. So she still has some say, I guess, since she still lives here. I mean, she's only 16, but she'll be gone before you know it. My son has grown and 20. It's weird. It's really weird. But I am excited about the holidays coming. I can't believe it's next week. It's crazy. Thank y'all for sharing. It's awesome. It blesses me so much. So last night I had a hand lettering class. Debbie was there. I had so much fun. Everybody was so sweet. And um, they all seemed like they were having a good time. And I love it. I always think, should I do another class? Or should I, you know, call it quits? And every time God reveals to me, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And so I'm like, okay. I'll keep doing it. Don't you love white on here? I think that white is really cool on craft. So anyway, I was saying it earlier, if you buy craft bags or white, I have these white ones too, and they're just plain, then all year you can use them as for gift giving. And if you wanted to, you could even do like a, you know, right whatever you want for whatever occasion and um, then by the time Christmas comes if you still have the craft or white I know that the white makes all the difference in the world um, then you've got gift bags that don't go out of date out of style I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> okay so look at the difference see that one and that one So different. Hi, Tracy. So I'm getting ready for my sale this weekend. And I'm going to, I decided today I'm going to make some gift bags to go in the sale too. And the good thing about these, hi Pam is if they don't sell, guess what? I get to use them. So that's fine with me. <laughs> How are y'all? Um, Gary, I'm having a drink for you right now. Look, I'm having cherry limeade. Gary keeps us all hydrated. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm done with it, and I fixed my little mistake. If you were here earlier, I had a little mistake line right here, and I just fixed it. So, And then, I like these bags because they're real wide. See how they are? I think I got these at Tuesday morning. And, aw, oh, thank you, Tracy. I have practiced a little bit. And then I got a piece of tissue, and I cut my tissue down when I'm using a smaller bag so I can use it. Um, sorry, that's probably really loud. Isn't that fun? And I like the little bit of metallic with it. Tracy, I have practiced. You should have seen me in the beginning. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. So I've actually been listening to Christmas music. Y'all, thank you, Gary. I have been watching... Hallmark movie after a Hallmark movie. I just leave it on. It's just on all the time. And they are, thanks, Lisa. How are you? They are so good. Do y'all watch Hallmark movies? If you don't, you'll know the ending to every single movie, but they're so good. Lettering on the tissue paper. Ooh, that's a good thing to try. You'd probably want the right kind of marker because you wouldn't want it to like tear it. But hey, I'm all up for trying whatever. I'll have to, you'll have to give me that challenge. I'll have to think about it. I'm going to, I know you can do like, you know, craft wrapping paper. You can letter on that. I'm going to do some gift tags. I'm actually doing a Christmas class here in town in December. 
and we're going to do gift bags, gift tags, and card. I know, new Hallmark movies. I know, I can, yes. See y'all, it's so fun, I just love it. You stamp on your, on your, on your, um, oh, your tissue. Have you seen the Christmas card? Is that, is that a movie? I guess I haven't. Or I don't know the names of all of them too. Sometimes I just get into them and then I don't even know what I'm watching. I, I just know what's gonna happen because they all end like that, right? <laughs> They're so good. Yeah, they're, I have probably watched the same ones over and over again. But guess what? I still like it every time. I love having the option of having good, wholesome TV on because what gets on my nerves more than anything else is to hear beep 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 <laughs> of language and stuff and basically I mean you can't even turn the TV on unless you have a channel like Hallmark and it makes me just happy did y'all know Facebook went down I think it was yesterday for a little while I bet some people were in a panic. <laughs> I wasn't on it at the time, believe it or not. But, um, yeah. I heard it was crazy. So y'all better be on Instagram, too. Just in case. You never know. I really do love Instagram. Debbie, you like it, don't you? Are you still here? <laughs> So I don't know what I do. I do want a red tree. I have a white tree. It's a six foot tall. I don't want a six foot tall this year. I'm thinking I want to um, get. I don't know that movie, Gary. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Entranced. Um. So, oh, thank you, Marnette. I'm telling you, it's fun. It's fun to do. I usually do, I like doing Holly a lot. So, and I don't do it on all of them. I think on this one, I've filled up the space so much. I'm just going to do some stars on this one. With my metallic pen. I don't know how well it's going to show up on this. I did it on the white one. Before y'all came on, I did some bags. I did this one. Or before I came on, whichever. And then this one, it has some metallic. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. But it's got some metallic stars on it. And I did my Oh Dear. This one actually is my favorite. And it's the, it's like the most simple. Like I didn't outline. A lot of times I'll outline and all that. But I'm actually kind of happy with it just plain. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Y'all are so encouraging. That's why I like to get on here. Listen to my friends. Talk to my friends. Anyway, I know I keep talking about my Christmas tree, but I totally need to, thank you, Gary, figure out what to do. Maybe I could do, should I do navy? You know, like the oh dear? Did you see my oh dear Christmas ornament? I'm looking for a silver. Oh, I know what I can use if I can find. I'm so in love with these markers. Hey, Kimberly. Thank you, Regina. Kim. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this marker. Oh, Debbie, you're so sweet. The classes have been a lot of fun. Not necessarily because of me, but the people in it. We They've had fun. This is so, like, I don't know if you saw the, when I hand-lettered the pumpkin, but this is one of the markers I used, and it's just the shiniest paint marker I've ever used. Like, sparkliest, shiniest, I don't know. Ooh, a cross is, would be a great idea. The gold one, girl, look what I did. 
Look what I did. I had to get the copper, the gold, and the silver <laughs> because they're so awesome. And I think I ordered these on accident. Do you letter and wrapping paper? You know what? Kim, I would love to. I need to find and see if I still have... But yes, I definitely would. I used to have some craft wrapping paper and it'd be so fun to pull it out and um, work on it. Oh, uh, it looks a little bit pixelated on my screen, but can y'all see the, uh-oh, maybe because my phone needs to be plugged in. Okay, anyway, can you see the sparkle? <laughs> I have all these reminders on my phone. Okay. Anyway, there's that. That's fun. If you just popped on, I am showing um, how to make hand lettered bags, gift bags. And on this one, Wiseman still see Kim. Still, my cell phone dropped on here and I made this ugly little line. And then, so you can go back and embellish and kind of fix that. So that's where I started. And we we're talking about how that white gel pen just makes everything pop. So I'm getting ready for a sale and I'm just making gift bags while I'm visiting. Thank you for the hearts and the shares y'all and the thumbs up. That's how a lot of people have found me lately. I've been so blessed for the shares. I don't know how many new followers I've had, but I think it's been about Maybe a hundred this week. Isn't that crazy? Okay, maybe not that many, but no matter if it was two, I'd still be pumped. Um, what pens do you use and how can I order them? Nancy, let's see. Gary, you are sweet as pie. Nancy, what pens do I use? Okay, I use different pens, all different kinds. Thank you, Gary. I'm going to put in right now, I'm going to type in my Amazon shop. And you can look under wood ornaments or any of the other uh, things I have that says Christmas ideas or something. And a lot of, I have a lot of the same markers in a lot of the different sections. So any of the ones that I recommend, I think are good. And if you click on this link that I'm typing in right now, um, it's my Amazon shop and it will lead you to the supplies I use for everything, basically. And that's easier than me easier than me telling you exactly. So now I'm gonna I just posted that. I hope that's right. Y'all tell me if that link doesn't go to the uh oh. It's not going to because I have a space in it for some reason. I should have asked one of y'all to type it in for me. <laughs> Amazon.com backslash shop. Speaking of wrapping paper, did y'all see the live I did with the wrapping paper buddy thing? <laughs> buddy thing. Um, okay, I've got, I'm almost done. I can't talk. I got to focus. You're welcome, Nancy. Oh, it's it did it again. Ah, sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's giving us space there. I would just tell you, but my last name's really hard to spell, and most people misspell it, and this makes it easier. Just one little... Okay, y'all watch and see if it does it again. Oops. Okay, no space. Now this time, it didn't do it. Come up. So the link should have popped up. Anyway, click on that. <laughs> I hope it works. It should like have a little link and then it should, I should be able to pin it to the top, but it's not cooperating. Let me try it this way. not coming up. Did you try that last one? 
Because it, it, it would pop, hmm, Amazon.com shop forward slash Christy Darty. And I spelled my name right. Can somebody check that last one to make sure? That's weird. Marnette, it worked for you. Hi, Marnette. Okay, good. I think that last one, I think I got it. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. Kimberly, do you have your Christmas tree up? Surely not. One W is capitalized. I think it still works. I think. So. Oh, did you fix it? Okay. Um, Judy, hello, hello. Oh, I just got a text from my son. Here's my current Christmas list. <laughs> Whatever he put on there, I don't even know what that is. That's too funny. Used to, I couldn't get my kids to ever tell me what they wanted to do. I mean, they wanted for Christmas. How are you, Judy? So what's the weather like today, y'all? Okay, so yesterday when I was on my live, I was talking about, um, someone put on here a, a snowflake and I was like, oh, where are you from? And she's like, Tyler, which is where I'm from. And I was like, oh, it is cold here. I didn't know it was snowing. <laughs> I'm a ding dong. So I totally missed the snow. I'm, I'm assuming it wasn't big flakes. Is it big flakes? I hope I didn't miss that. Gary, where do you live? Where are you from? Oklahoma. Judy, it's raining. It snowed all day, Amy, like big Amy, like big flakes. Tell me no. Tell me, how could I miss that? I didn't go outside yesterday. <laughs> That's why I missed it. I saw like at three in the morning, someone had posted that it was snowing. And then I thought, well, that's three in the morning. I'm not going to see that. And then, totally missed it. Actually, my daughter posted something on Instagram that said, I'm having hot chocolate in the snow with a friend. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's snowing? My goodness. Can't take me anywhere. So last night, my favorite part of the night, at three, they were pretty big and taller. Wow, how did I miss that? Um, so last night at my hand lettering class, my favorite part, which I see some of you were there last night. Oh, it was so fun. But... The cutest part was when I made a letter and then people gasp. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. They made me laugh so hard because they thought it was, I guess they thought I did a good job. I was like, yes, I wish my family would tell me that whenever I'm cooking or <laughs> I have to go home and not be appreciated. Appreciated. Okay, so here's the four that I've made so far. Do you like it where it fills up the whole thing? Are you more simple person? There's my two simple ones. And there's my two that are more, have more art stuff going on. And then, with the white ones, I have that one. Whoever gets this one needs to have this ornament go in it, right? <laughs> and I don't think I even have a Noel bag, but there's Peace on Earth. I thought I had a Peace on Earth ornament. Nope, but anyway, you like the simple, you're a simple person. Well, I was listening to someone yesterday who is a decorator. She's into color and paint. 
And she was saying, that, which I was super excited because if y'all know me, I'm not a simple, Gary, I'm the opposite of you. Okay, this has something right here, and it came like that, but I still want to cover that up, just FYI. But she said that, what do you, okay, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, you know what's been in style all this time has been real. Oh, I'm not going to remember the word, and it was perfect. Hi, Cindy. How are you? We are decorating, we as in me, are decorating gift bags. I have a sale coming up this weekend, and so I'm going to have some there. If anybody is shopping and wants to get gift bags, and I was saying if they don't sell, guess what? I will have my gift bags ready for Christmas. Okay. Minimal, okay, minimalist. She was saying, you know, for so long, minimalism is has been in, and she said the new thing, get this, y'all, this is so me, is a maximalist. They finally came up with a word for me. <laughs> I'm a max, whatever I said. I said it right, but now I can't even say it. Maximalist. I don't know. But isn't that cool? That means everything goes, which in my house it already did, so. <laughs> but now there's a name for it. I feel like I'm normal. Did y'all see where I covered up that little black spot on there? So what would you consider yourself? Minimalist? Maximalist? Neither. <laughs> maximalist. All right, Amy. Oh, that's right. That's right, Amy. That's right. A procrastinatorist. <laughs> Don't talk about me like that. Yep, I am a procrastinator like you wouldn't believe. It's one of my gifts. It's one of my skills. You're max. Oh, I love you people. Y'all are awesome. Don't you feel normal too now? I try to go minimalist for a few years. I, I cleaned everything. I sold everything. Not everything, but I sold a bunch of stuff. And I cleaned off, you know, I cleaned off everything. I made it real simple. I didn't have stuff like junk sitting around on my, well, decorations sitting around on my fireplace and all that kind of stuff. And then it just started looking really cold. And a lot of people used to tell me that my house was like real warm and inviting. And not that anybody didn't tell me that. I just didn't have anybody over. But um, I realize now that I'm putting stuff back on, back in my life, <laughs> that that was sad. I mean, sad. That was, I don't know if the word's sad. It was just not who I was. I was trying to be somebody I wasn't. And it's funny that we're talking about decorating, and I'm saying that, but it's true. It really is true. Not loving this one. But, maybe I just need to do some more up here. I need to do the max, right? <laughs> you can't love them all. But you know what's funny? There's so many times when I make something and it is so not my favorite and it's the first thing to sell. I'm like, seriously? Okay, well, glad there's different kind of people in the world. Yeah, it didn't feel normal for me. Nope, that's not what I'm using. Can I just tell y'all how much I'm so thankful that handmade things are like back, quote, in style? Because I've always, always made gifts. And they seem to be much more appreciated these days. Just 
they're all the way around. You know, Etsy is huge. The Etsy market, and that has really helped bring in back handmade items. I love that the younger generation is getting into it. And see, I feel like I need something over here because it, it needs to be in threes. And I'm going to make it go off. Ooh, look, this is a different color. That was an accident. <laughs> but it works. You would? That's awesome. Thank you, Cindy. Today, I think every single person that comes to our house to work was here. My dogs were going crazy. So how many of you are on Instagram and you watch Instagram stories? I know Debbie does. Amy, if you're still here, you should because you've been on my stories before. You are. Have you seen my stories? I really entertained myself. I think it was yesterday. <laughs> Definitely. Ah, oh, thank you, Debbie. Too old? Girl, please. You're younger than I am. <laughs> You're silly. Barbara, that is the question of the day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I need to see what I have in it. You never get like what you have in it back, you know, but um, as far as I don't remember how much the bags cost and then, you know, you're using up your ink and then your time and good question. Um, maybe 350 something like that. I mean, I'm spending way too much time on them, but it's fun. I like it. And I wouldn't be talking to y'all because I wouldn't be sitting still, so. Do y'all have troubles with that? I know Amy does. And a lot of times with this stuff, I think, oh, it didn't take me that long. And then I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been working on that for two hours. <laughs> But it goes by fast because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So, okay. Do you like this one? Aw, thank you, Gary. I was not loving it, but it's it's coming together now. It's looking a lot better. You're thinking five if you put tissue in it. Well, I love that, Cindy. I don't know if people would pay that, but I, I mean, you know, when you go buy a gift bag, you're going to pay that. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I would love to get four, but thank you, Lisa, so much. There's so many talented people on here. It's time to drink again. Okay. Glad I'm not drinking something, a heavy beverage. <laughs> Y'all, Gary is, he makes sure everybody is hydrated. So if you have something by you, you need to take a drink. Are you drinking, Gary? That's what we need to find out is, are you taking a drink? <laughs> Nobody's watching after you. So my dogs were going crazy today when all of the, I don't know if y'all can hear. It's funny when my dog stretches. She sounds like an old man or actually me when I'm getting up, you know, making all kinds of crickety noises. 
tea, sweet tea or unsweet tea? You're from Oklahoma, what do y'all drink? I'm gonna guess sweet tea. I actually drink unsweet tea, even though I'm from Texas. But I, I will have half and half every now and then. Unsweetened, cool. Oreo, leave it. So, if you just popped on, we've been talking about Hallmark movies. Who else is watching Hallmark movies? Who keeps it on all day long like I do? <laughs> they make them all colorful and sweet and fun and interesting. Thanks for sharing. Y'all are so sweet. Hi, Tamara. Hallmark all day long. Yep. The best. Do y'all like the new ones? I'm going to be honest, I haven't sat through a whole new one yet because I know I'm going to, I'm sure they're going to play reruns, I'm assuming, forever. And I'll just catch it here and there because I can't sit down. Just cannot sit down. All day long, that's funny. Yep. Marathon. I saw today... They said somewhere they're having a... Oh, Judy, you're awesome. Thanks for sharing. Um, like uh, uh, Christmas music all the time? I don't know. I think Sirius Radio, which I don't have, but I saw that they're... That looks like snow on here. Like a little snow cap. Why didn't I ever think of that before? I'm going to put a little snow cap over here, too. Since we don't get much snow... I want to play Christmas music right now, but since I don't have the rights to it, Facebook won't let me. I just love, don't you love when you're playing, you're being crafty and you come up with something? <laughs> Not like I'm the first person to ever come up with this, but I came up with it for myself like, oh look, that looks like snow. <laughs> I'm sure uh, there's a lot of other brilliant people out there like me. I do use a lot, this white gel pen, I do use, I run out of these a lot. So, if you talk about the, the price of one of these bags, I should factor that in. Okay, there's my snow caps. That's kind of fun. All right, now what do I want to do? To <clears throat> I think a touch of red and green is nice. And look, I'm using my Crayola marker. These markers are good. 
They don't work for everything, but they work for this. I'll just make sure that they're really dry before I do anything else to it. Like the white? <clears throat> Gonna be waterlogged. Oh, I didn't drink a minute ago when you told me to. Okay, here's my cherry lime made. I actually have something. Oh, it's another cherry lime made. I have these things sitting around everywhere, basically. Oh, look, paint. <laughs> So, okay, tell me your favorite Christmas movies. Or we can talk about Thanksgiving if y'all'd rather. But I am doing something Christmassy, so it's harder. Growing up, my favorite ones, Frosty the Snowman. I love that so much. I, I love those old ones. Okay, Kim, for sure, Elf is the number one. My definitely top number one of all time. Okay, I think that one's... Wow, I'm almost have them all done. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, um, Elf is love, actually. Is that... That's a Hallmark one, right? Can't remember. So, I just used to love all of those, um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all of those cartoons from when I was growing up. I love those. I even got some of the little characters. And um, when my kids were younger from Walmart, they I collected those, like Snow Monster and all those characters. I need to pull those out. So, if y'all just popped on, I'm making some gift bags. I'm having a, a sale this weekend at my friend's place. And... I am making some of these to sell. Fun little gift bags. Not many people are telling me your favorite Christmas movie. There's just so many funny elf quotes. Hi, Sherry. I'm from East Texas. Are you from here, Tyler, or are you from somewhere else in Texas? She collects no babies. Oh, I bet they're hard to find. I know. My best friend collected those growing up. It's a wonderful life. That's what my mom would say. I know, Melissa, right? From Athens. Oh, you're just down the road. Not too far. You need to come see me. Um. Yes, Elf. What's y'all's favorite scenes? Is anybody not like Elf? I mean, I'm scared for you to admit that, but it's going to be hard for us to be friends, y'all. Because it's so funny. Tuesday morning has snow babies. Did you hear that, Debbie? That's cool. Home Alone. I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, that's fun. That is fun. Yeah. I, I think Amy's telling the truth this time. Amy, are you telling the truth this time? She has a habit of not telling the truth. Just kidding.
So an elf, the movie Elf. Um, I love the gum. The gum is hilarious. I love when he goes in to the coffee shop. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> World's greatest cup of coffee. I might not be saying them exactly right, but gosh, that cracks me up. And then when he buys his <laughs> dad lingerie. <laughs> it's a clever movie. Nobody said they didn't like it. Oh, really, Sherry? That's cool. Flint might as well be Tyler, right? That's cool. I know, we're just like kind of all intertwined. Tyler has grown so much. Athens, I go to Athens once a year. Do you know where Greenbrier is? It's in Eustis. Nancy's moving to Canton. Is that close? Oh, it's about 30 minutes. Is ish? Anyway, do you know about Greenbrier Retreat? I go there once a year with 17 friends and we do, it's a craft retreat and we have a blast. We all bring our own stuff. Some people sew, some people knit. Everybody does something different and it is so fun. The lady who started it or built it, she built it for this reason. Actually, it was a quilting retreat place, which most most people that come are quilters. And um, she was a home ec teacher and loved serving people. And they, you don't get this very often in life anymore, but they actually, um, all the meals are handmade. The, they have herbs out in the, with your parents were born and raised in Canton. Ha ha ha. That's cool. Now, did y'all know each other before this? Anyway, I love that place. It's home away from home. When we get there, she says, welcome home. Like a real tiny house? Like one of those really tiny houses. I don't know anybody that has a real one, but I'm very intrigued. It's probably really gratifying to purge. <gasps> Nancy, I am dying. I need to know more. I need to come film your life. <laughs> Are you going to be on a TV show? Oh my gosh, that's that's crazy fun. I love that for you. I don't know if I don't think I could do it, but I love that for you. Yeah, I don't know, Amy, I don't know if you're still here, but my friend Amy. Wait, were you one of those people saying that? There's a couple people in our, our craft group last time who was talking about um, getting rid of a bunch of stuff. No, I don't think, I don't know who it was, but anyway, I was like, yeah, right. Let me follow you all around. I don't see that happening. Surely it wasn't Amy, because she just said she's a maximalist. Thank you, Sherry. Appreciate it. Wow, Nancy. How 
How would I, are you talking to me, uh, Tracy? How would you do a door behind that? Like a door behind this? Uncle Buck. Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that in years. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. I know Steel Magnolias is not a Christmas movie, but I think they do have like all seasons in there almost, but y'all that movie is, it's a classic. It's so good. Oh, it is? Tracy says yes. Oh, Tracy, you're talking about this? How would I do a door behind this? A door behind the, I don't know. How would you do it? <laughs> I'd have to think about it. I have to know, Sherry, do y'all know each other and Nancy? Before today, did y'all already know each other? How fun, that's fun. Now you have a new friend. That's cool. Well, I'm here to introduce Sherry to Nancy, Nancy to Sherry. Now y'all can be BFFs. You're going to live pretty close to each other. And then we can all come have a party in the tiny house. 399 square feet. Nancy's having a party. But we're going to have to eat outside, right, Nancy? Hey, hey, Angie K. Look at me go. <laughs> I'm getting ready for my sale this weekend. I decided to make some gift bags to put in um, the sale with my ornaments and stuff. You're on Instagram, so you've seen, you've probably seen everything that I'm doing for this weekend. Nancy, well, you're going to have a lot of land then. That's good. The sale I'm going to be at is in Bullard, and my friend has this. She built this shop behind her house, and it is... I'm um, sorry, I'm concentrating. It is in Bullard. You've got to come by and say hi. That'd be so fun. And I think you'll see some fun stuff there too. Yeah, you should do that. Anybody, anybody's invited. And um, anybody who's listening, y'all can fly in if you're not from Texas. <laughs> no, but you ladies from Athens and... Um, Canton, y'all come on. Anybody close enough? It's going to be kind of, I mean, it's not a barn, but it's kind of like the barn sale where people bring stuff and sell it there. But Flint Baptist is a church. Thank you. I'm putting a little bit more effort into this one. <laughs> um, and the church is just down the road. So some people who know where Flint Baptist is, it's just down the road from that. It's like three miles. The barn sells this weekend, too. Is it mistletoe this weekend, too? Sounds great. NGK, thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Have a good one. Yeah, this one's kind of got all the bells and whistles. It makes this one look... Pretty plain, because the snow, the snow really adds a lot. A lot. All right, y'all, I did my bags. I did them all. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and show you all of them. Let me take this out, sorry. I make a lot of noise. 
Gresham Barnstill. Christmas one's awesome. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Okay, so we'll do Wise Men Still Seek Him. Silent Night. That's why I got the shimmer. Take the hauls. Thank you, Nancy. All is calm. All is bright. I don't see anything misspelled yet. Y'all tell me. Because I'm notorious for misspelling. More simple. Oh, Tracy, Wisconsin. I don't think you could get here in time. It's cold right now compared to your temps. You know what is crazy? It's cold here. Like, this could be the coldest day of our year. <laughs> or when it was, when I woke up, it was 28. So, it's pretty cold here. Okay. There's this one, which at first was my least favorite, but it's grown on me. The more I added, the more I liked it. And then I did this one. I still love the simplicity of that one. And I've got my oh dear. So I got a lot done with y'all being here. Thank you so very, very much for joining me and keeping me company while I had a blast. Thank you, Debbie. There we go. Those are my favorites. You like the white sacks? You do? Good. I know these are new. I usually do the these ones. But I like the white. The, I like the white the white on the oh dear still too fun. <laughs> my little oh dear. Oh, he's over here. There he is. Yeah, and he's so easy to do. Again, there's my ornament. It's made for the ornament. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to run, and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day.